the next episode of Tourist Dog, we'd just like to make the following announcement. A massive thank you to everybody. Bar, the best town I visited so far. Sorry to all the other towns. Uh, everyone I met was absolutely unbelievably friendly. Uh, start off with CBD shop, Christopher's Inn, who let me stay for the first night for free. Uh, the bike mechanic fixed up my bike completely. Claude feels like 30 years younger. It's like he's had a facelift. Uh, PJ Prince print and design sorry who sorted me out 1000 tourist dog business cards cycle on and also thanks to Aiden at Nuki Golf Club he sorted me out with not just two Lucas Aids not just two crisp packets not just a pint of coke I know what else can there be uh, he's also gave me some really crucial local knowledge and helped me three and a half thousand miles probably more by the looks of things so Next few days are going to be really hilly and I'm a bit nervous. Really beautiful, probably, I don't know, but I know it's going to be hilly because that's what Google Maps has told me. Just going to get on with it. Just come out this pub here. Um, I don't know if they're yanking my jimmies or not, but apparently I'm about to go up the biggest cliff in England. Uh, and I do believe them. And I don't believe that I'm going to be able to cycle up it, and it's half three, so we've got a couple hours to get up it, and then I'm going to try and catch somewhere up the top. He's the tourist dog. Sits down the side of some wonders of the world. Joking, because I can't see any more cycling for the rest of the day uphill. We're about as high as God's heaven right now. not a hill. Somewhere around here is a good camp spot. Oh look, Claw beat me to it. Walked into the bar, asked if there was anywhere close by that they recommend I pitch up my tent for the night. They directed me this way, asked me what I was doing, I told them. They said, do you want anything off the main menu and would you like a drink? Time and time, time and time and time again, people want to help out if you're going through something. If anything, like a bike tour or it just anything, I, if you're lost directions wise, people want to help out and just that's what this is all about really. Help you and by helping you that also helps them and then it vice versa on the back of that. And the lady that sort of me out with the food had a pretty unique story and a pretty, well she's gone through some stuff as well and she's also supporting other people that have also gone through stuff. Imagine what it would be like to cope with if that was me. In terms of secrecy, I'd say it's pretty secret. You've got a cove there, and in the middle of the cove is literally the tent. So it's like almost an arena, it looks like. Perfectly cut out for someone to sleep. Uh, it breaks you off from the wind. Doesn't break you off from the animals, however. There's a lot of animal activity, so that minus is a secrecy point. Uh, it's also on the coastal path. It's an official tourist path. So on a Wednesday, I'd say it's a bit of an eight because not many people are doing the coastal path on a Wednesday. 
um, especially any dangerous people. You can imagine the dangerous serial killer people do that on their weekends, on their time off. Um, on so on a week weekend, I'd say secrecy five. But on a weekday, I'd say secrecy good eight nine. In terms of scenery, it's over there. We're on a cliff, um, so that's quite nice being on the cliff. And then also looking at the cliff is pretty good. You've got a beach. You've got the town of Linton or Limington. I'm not sure which one that is. Uh, just up there. And uh, yeah, all in all, apparently you can see whales on a, on a day, on a clear day. Evidently it's not a clear day because I can't see whales. Um, that's tent advisor for the day. I'm going to see if we can walk down there. I know it's a bit of a mission, but to clean my pots and pans, it'll be more of a mission if the pasta and egg dries on it. And I can't, um, and I can't clean it, so... Also, I'd just like to throw any bits of paper and rubbish I've got in the sea because it just gets rid of it easier. Joking! Whoa! Joking. So here we are. We're halfway down. So we're halfway down the cliff edge. Just a bit further to go. I think, look, there's a path there. See if we can get to the sea and wash these pans. Uh, a lot of people asking and tweeting in all the time what I'm having for breakfast. Today I had... Um, I made poached eggs. And then I took the poached eggs out and used the broth of the eggs. It was egg broth cooked with the pasta and sauce, which was cheese and broccoli. So, I mean, three flavours that are quite distinct and strong. But when you put it together, because it was just plain packet pasta, it was it was generally quite weak and a good breakfast because you've got eggs and uh, pasta in there, which is like carbs and protein, I think. And then I had five biscoff biscuits. Whoa, whoa. And then, yeah, that was it. Um, getting pretty steep now. Just gonna keep going, see if we can get. It looks like there's a path there, so I assume it's gonna be long if it's not, because I'm gonna have to walk all the way back up again. Well, I'm gonna have to walk up again anyway, but I, I don't want to walk up a loser. I want to walk back up a victor, a clean potted victor. Oh. Right, so I'm halfway down. Um, do you know what I'm gonna give up? Because it looks like that goes around the corner there. And look, that is an almighty climb back up again. Um, for something that I don't think is even going to work. So I'm going to cut my losses now and go back up a loser. A dirty potted loser. Hmm. Not sure if you can see, but just over there is a helicopter. And it just flew right in front of me here. And I think it might have been to do with me being on the edge of the cliff and being spotted. <laughs> Because they came so close to the campsite. Oh, sorry if that's wasted any taxpayers' money or anything, but that was funny. <laughs> oh, I bet they're going to come and tell me off.